The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome to the fact around censored. A freshman at Bel Air High School says the baseball coach at the school told him he needed to cut his hair if he wanted to stay or make the baseball team. The teen seen behind me was wearing his hair in a blown out afro under his Bel Air baseball cap. Now this comes just two years after a similar controversy at Barbers Hill ISD, which led to the attempted passage of the Texas Crown Act. However, the bill failed. It would have protected students and and individuals in the state from facing discrimination based on their hairstyles. Now we talked to the teen and his mother tonight on The Factor. And joining us on The Factor on Simpson tonight, we have with us Erica Roan and her son, Duro Dina, a ninth grader at Bel Air High School. So Duro, let's start with you. What happened between you and your coach that left you upset that day that you encountered him? I was just minding my business going to class. And he seen me with my hair really out and blown out and it in a really cultural fashion. And he was just saying, no, you can't wear that or you cannot you have that hair in order to play baseball here in front of everybody. He didn't even pull me aside and he said it in a joking manner in a way that was make, making fun of me. And in that way, it affected on other kids and they started to make fun of my hair at school as well. And so how did that leave you feeling, having your coach not only to call you out, but to call you out in front of other kids? I was really, I felt really disrespected and just not really, I, I didn't feel welcomed anymore. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was just another, I, I just felt like I was just a money machine for them at that point. Like I didn't have feelings or I didn't mean anything to them. Did you consider quitting the baseball team at that point? Yes, I, I was ready to just quit and not be there anymore. So, Erica, when you hear your son say he's ready to quit baseball, something that he loves, after his encounter with his baseball coach, your thoughts on that? I'm, I'm really holding back the tears because every time I hear him tell this story, it hurts me. I mean, it really hurts me because what is his hair doing to anybody? You know, what is, what is, what is his hair? What is, what, what does that have to do with his ability to play the baseball sport? And if that was a situation with his hair, then that was a way he could have done that. He could have mm -hmm. handled that so much more respectfully, professionally, and adult-like. And this was, it spilled off into kids making fun of him, him not wanting to play the sport that he's been playing since three years old, started out in t-ball, and... I, I, I just couldn't believe myself. And it made me feel as though I was Mamie Teal. You know, I, 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 it, it, it has taken me back to that place and how she fought for her son to be treated equally when he was murdered. Now, I know it's not as it's not severe like that, but you murdered his character. You know, you, you murdered his feelings, you know, and we as parents, we have to fight for what's right and, 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 and continue to uplift our children and to let them know that, hey, this is your crown and your crown is beautiful and this is a part of your heritage and nobody should be able to snatch that away or make you feel as though it's dirty, ugly, bad, and it's not something that we want to see. So it's, it's painful. And because of that, I'm transferring him out of that school because today he was retaliated against by the coach. <laughs> so what happened in that instance? Well, today I was supposed to go to baseball for class today. And when I asked him, what am I supposed to do? Because it's this new semester and I didn't know if I was supposed to go today or tomorrow. And he just ignored me. And I was right in front of him right next to him, saying his name, and he just didn't say anything to me. He just kept walking away and walking around me. Like I was non-existent. Now, what has, uh, Ms. Rohn, what has the administration said about this at the school? 
I know you've had communication, direct right. communication with the coach, and I've seen your emails. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, he is a Hispanic gentleman, and he says, well, I have black friends, I have white friends, I have the Rainbow Coalition of friends. Yeah. So I could never be racist. Uh, yeah. and, and and what is he saying Supposedly. now when it comes to this 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 issue? What is the administration saying about this? Um, the principal has pretty much not said anything you know he's not he's not said anything about it uh if you read uh coach azuna's email it was very uh condescending and passive aggressive um and he acted as though he was the one being victimized when it was myself and my son who was victimized by his actions. So I, I did get an email from uh, Mr. McDowell today uh, sharing that Duro would be uh, going over to Lamar. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to this issue with his hair, mm -hmm. are you surprised that in 2022 you're still dealing with this? Because you've sent me pictures of him in his baseball cap, and he can wear his baseball cap with his hair. Are you surprised that we're still dealing with all of this in 2022 when it comes to particularly African-American kids' hair? I am, especially given the fact that we just went through something like this with Pearland ISD. You know, and I, I'm just shocked that I just, I couldn't believe that we would be experiencing that I am in this place with my son. I, I cannot believe it. I mean, this has been so stressful for me because I'm, I'm still in a place of this, did, did this, it, no, this is not what I'm living right now today in 2022. It, it just cannot be. It's unbelievable. And obviously there will be people who will see this. And for those who say, why don't you just cut his hair in law and allow him to play baseball at Bel Air? I say, I'm not going to cut his hair. I'm not going to have him feel like he's a puppet on a string. You know, his, he's not doing it. He's a good kid. Um, you've seen his grades. You've seen his conduct. He's a great kid. And why should his hair, no matter how big and full it is, that doesn't mean that he can't play the sport. We're not going to cut his hair. He enjoys his hair. He likes being able to express his culture and, and wear his hair completely combed out if he wants to wear it combed out. So I'm, I'm not going to conform to what other people feel that I and we should do in my home. No. For those who say it would be a distraction on the baseball field, even with the cap on, what would you tell that person? I would tell that person, you know, then then look the other way. If you feel that my son's hair is a distraction, then 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 that's the field that you may not, the game that you may not want to attend, because he's going to keep his hair, um, his cap is going to stay on, and why is it a distraction? What what makes it a distraction? What is your definition of a distraction? You know. And and him headed over, do you think he will have the same issue at Lamar High School? What are they saying about his hair, if at anything? They've not said anything about his hair. Uh, I, I don't think they've seen it. I don't think they've seen his hair. But uh, my hope is that this will be a smooth process and uh, there will not be, his hair won't be a subject. You know, just as long as, you know, he's making the grades, he's having the constant good conduct, and he's doing what he's supposed to do as a student and able to play the game on the field as he's instructed, I, I, I don't think that, and I hope and pray that there is no issue with his hair. And Duro, are you looking forward to going to a new school or this is last resort for you? Did you enjoy where you were at first? No, I'm ready to go. Now, we reached out to the Houston Independent School District to get a comment, and while we've touched bases with them, we have not heard 
back or receive a statement or comment on this matter from them as of yet. And once again, we want to reemphasize the coach wrote the mother saying he would never discriminate against anyone because he is a minority himself, that being Hispanic. He went on to say the haircut is about rules and policies when it comes to baseball, and that he also told a white student that he needed a haircut as well. We hope to update you on this when we get a statement from the Houston Independent School District.